Hello and welcome to my video about this um, Kingbridge as a 540C. Um, these are reasonably competent players. They feature, you know, nicely canned transformers and, and, and the servos hidden in a can and there's some jewelry. Um, but you won't see any of that in here because it has been lampizated. Um, we're listening to the original um, uh, transistor-based output, but uh, there's, as you can see, the sockets here for two valves, and that's an extra transformer here. And it's an elaborate setup all the way with heatsink and all, all quality parts there and um, and I suppose it's a bird's nest uh, uh, set up combined with some boards, uh, some Vero boards there. Overall uh, the player suffered from uh, from not playing discs and um, this was due to three factors cleaning of grease and, and cleaning the lens but that's wasn't really the major thing. The major thing is, I don't know whether you can see it, a lot of mac micro cracks uh, over there, there and, and everywhere. There, there were just little cracks that are fixed with um, uh, ultraviolet cure glue. Um, this sometimes happens and it was bizarre because the owner was still here when I looked at that to give him some kind of indication or quote. And it just wasn't reading them. It was not trying to spin. We took off the bridge and without the bridge the player tried to spring up to action. Obviously no bridge, no clamp and couldn't. The moment we fitted the bridge it wasn't going to happen. And this is normally what happens when you have all these cracks. Then um, the mechanism twists and, and the clamp doesn't hold it properly. Other than that, I've replaced the belt, which is no longer round and, and it's it's not stretchy. So that's that's the original belt, and you can see it's sort of like it's overdue for, for service. So like a general service of it, and uh, and a few uh, maybe about ten cracks fixed. And it's a very nice player now, it goes very well and I, I've never heard it with uh, tubes because when the owner with the tubes was here, this wasn't working, but it's all good now. No, it won't be available for sale, it's, uh, this belongs to a member of Stereonet Australia from Dansborough and southwest of Western Australia. Okay, well thank you very much for your time, till next time. And those sounds that you listen to. This is 1960s um, Ornette Coleman Don Cherry. Uh, this was the avant-garde then and I suppose to some people it still sound um, fairly fresh and harsh. Thank you very much. Goodbye.